Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're painting the Agama from the City States Army for Conquest: The Last Argument of Kings. These are really cool models. They're going to be fun elite infantry, and I had a lot of fun painting them. So let's go ahead and dive into how I did it. To get this model ready for painting, I primed it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum, but you could use any black primer that you want. First thing we're going to do in this project is we're going to take Sotek Green and we're going to use this as the base color for the cape and any other clothing that appears on this model. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Contrast Talazar Blue, we're going to water this down slightly, and use this as the wash for the cape and clothing on this model. While that shade is drying, we're going to take Kislev Flesh, and we're going to use this as the base color for any exposed skin on this model. Now that our shade is dried, we're going to take a mixture of one part Sotek Green and one part Temple Guard Blue. We're going to highlight the raised ridges of the clothing on the model, but we're going to leave the recesses darker. Now we're going to take Temple Guard Blue by itself, and we're going to use this to do an additional layer of highlighting, but we're not going quite up to the edge of where we painted with the previous coat of paint. Once we're done with that layer of highlighting, we're going to take Baharath Blue and we're going to do one more layer of highlighting, but this time we're only painting the crispest edges on the clothing. Moving back to the skin, we're now going to take Contrast Gilliman Flesh and we're going to use this to shade all of the skin on the model. After that shade is dried, we're going to take Kislev Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight all of the raised ridges on the muscles so that they look well defined and clean. At this point we're ready to start working on the armor on the model, so we're going to take a lead belcher and we're going to paint the shoulder pads, the mechanical limb, the weapons, and any other armor we don't want to have be bronze on the model. We're going to take Balthazar Gold and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the remaining armor on the model. With those armor colors in place, we're now going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to wash this over all of the copper armor on the model. We're going to shade all of the iron armor on the model using Contrast Basiliconum Gray. You don't want to go too heavy here as it will darken down the armor quite a bit. Once those shades have dried, we're going to take two parts copper from Pro Acryl and one part Gehenna's Gold, and we're going to use this mixture to highlight all of the raised flat surfaces of the armor, but we're not going to paint this in the recesses or anywhere that the shade pooled up. Next, we're going to take Iron Breaker, and we're going to do the same thing, but this time on the steel parts of the model. Now that we're done with the armor, it's time to move on to the leather parts of the model, and we're going to take Mornfang Brown and use this as the base color for all of those pieces. This includes the tassets that hang from the waist of the model, as well as any straps that appear across the armor. Once we're happy with that brown base color, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to wash all the leather parts on the model. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to use this to edge highlight the leather straps. Now be careful with this, you don't want to overpaint and end up having to redo the straps altogether. There are a couple bits of trim on the clothing of this model. We're going to take Dawnstone and use this as the base color for those trim and detail parts.
Next, we're going to take gray sear and we're going to highlight the raised creases in these trim details. But we're going to leave the darker color in the recesses. Our final step in this project is to take Corax White and we're going to use this to pick out the sharpest edges on the white trim on this model. And with that, we finished painting our Agama. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos that I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. You'll gain access to exclusive perks, such as a members only Discord, where you can chat directly with me whenever you'd like. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.